let me consider some problems <coughs> in normal distribution <coughs> if x follows normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square where mu is equal to 96 and sigma is equal to 2.13 <coughs> find the probability that x is less than 97 probability that x is greater than 95 probability that x lies between um, 97 and 99 okay probability that x lies between 95 and 99 okay uh, that's all let us do all these problems okay fine see uh, the answer the question is in terms of x but you should convert the question in terms of is it probability of x less than 97 is equal to probability of z less than 97 minus mu by sigma okay you change it on both sides x minus mu by sigma becomes z 97 minus mu by sigma calculate this value 97 minus 96 is 1 divided by 2.13 it is uh, probability of z less than 0 0.47 okay now draw the curve when the question has changed in terms of z you draw the curve 0 0.47 will be after this <coughs> You want the answer which is less than 0 0.47 means less than this full area. Right? You know this area up to this is 0 0.5. But what is the area from 0 to, 4, 0 to 0 0.47 you don't know. Which can be extracted from the table. Okay? You don't know this area. This can be extracted from the table 0 0.47. Point 0 0.1808 okay 0.47 so 0 0.6808 is the answer so the first problem is over let me come to the second problem probability of x greater than 95 that is probability of z greater than 95 minus mu 96 by sigma 2.13 that is probability of z greater than minus 1 by 2.13 minus 0 0.47 let me draw the curve minus 0 0.47 will be here greater than means you need this area right after getting a question of this type draw the curve and then proceed using the curve proceed based on the curve so again don't see here here it says you want the value from probability of uh, from 0 point minus 0 0.47 to 0 plus you know the remaining area is 0 0.5 but negative values are not available in the table but you know that the area from minus 0 0.47 to 0 will be same as area from 0 to 0 0.47 okay 0 0.47 you see the table for 0 0.47, 0 0.1808. So, 0 0.1808 plus 0.5, the answer is 0 0.6808. Okay. Now, let me come to the next question. What is the probability that Z is between, sorry, X is between 97 and 99 is the question. Now, 97 minus 96 by 2.13 this becomes z you are standardizing okay 99 minus 96 by 2.13 so probability of 97 minus 96 is minus sorry 1 1 by 2.13 is uh, uh, 0 0.47 and 99 minus 96 is 3 3 divided by 2.13 is 1.41. Okay. Now draw the curve. 0.47 will be after 0. 1.41 will be after that. So you need this area. For this what should you do? Probability of 0 less than is it less than 1.41 minus probability of 0 less than is it less than 
zero point four seven. Okay, up to one point four one. What is the area? You can see the table. One point four one. 0.4207 up to 0.47.1808 so 0.4207 minus 0.1808 you have 0.2399 alright now go to the next question what is the probability that is it lies bit sorry x lies between 95 and 99 standardize 95 minus 96 by 2.13 less than is it less than 99 minus 96 by 2.13 so you have minus 1 by 2.13 is minus 0 0.47 and here 99 minus 96 you have 1.41 so what is the area you require draw the curve minus 0 0.47 plus 1.41 okay you need this area how can you write it you can write it as minus 0 0.47 to 0 plus 0 to 1.41 right this can be written as 0 to 0 0.47 plus 0 to 1.41 up to 0 0.47 what is the area 0 0.47 0 0.1808 up to 1.41 what is the area 0.6015 is the answer right so this is how you use normal tables to find the probability value standard normal tables okay thank you